Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we will learn how to manage languages and translations in CS Card. Let's begin. Here is the first thing you need to know about translating CS Card. There are two types of translations: the content translation and localization. Let's use one of the products as an example to show the difference. We open a product details page and see that there is a language panel above tabs. This is the content translation. But there is another language panel at the top of the page. This is a full localization. If we switch to a different language in a content panel, the content of product fields will change according to the selected language, but the interface language stays the same. And if we switch to a different localization, interface changes completely, but the content stays the same. So, don't forget to switch content languages when you want to edit something in a different language. To manage languages, we go to Administration, Languages, Manage Languages. Here are two tabs. Installed – the languages installed in your store, and Available – the languages you can install. Available tab is used when you need to install a language that you had previously uninstalled or the language that was added with an update. Use the gear button of a language to clone, export, delete the language, or to edit its properties. The language properties are simple – a language code, a two-character value to distinguish languages from each other, an official language name, and a country where this language is official. This setting adds a country name and a flag right next to it. Now I'd like to show you how to translate this card. The first method is to download an existing translation. Go to translate.cscard.com, find the desired language and click on its name. Download it. Then go back to Manage Languages page and click the plus button to add a new language. Click Local in the pop-up window, select the zip archive containing localization or upload PO files one by one. Then click Install to install a new language. The new language will appear in the list of installed languages. The second method is to translate CSCART via Crowdin platform. Existing translations are made by CSCART users at Crowdin. It's a web service for collaborative translation, which allows any community member to contribute to the CSCART translation. That's where our translations come from. Use the following link to get to our project at Crowdin. Create an account there, you need to read the FAQ about Crowdin on our forum. And select the translation you want to contribute to from the list called Needs Translation. After approval, translations are automatically added to archives, which can be later uploaded to CSCART. The third method is to create a new translation. Before you begin, make sure that the desired language is not on the list of available languages and that there is no such language at translate.cscard.com or Crowdin. On the Manage Languages page, click the gear button next to any existing language and choose Clone. Enter a two-letter language code in a pop-up window. A new language will be added to the list of installed languages. Remember that it's actually a full copy of the existing language. Click the gear button next to the newly created language and choose Edit from the drop-down menu. Edit the settings accordingly. Then the select box allowing users to choose this language will appear on a storefront and in the admin panel. So if you decided to translate this card on your own, we advise to do it this way. Go to Administration, Languages, Translations. Click the gear button and select On-Site Live Editing. You'll be taken to the storefront, where you need to translate the text marked with a dashed line. Don't forget to switch to the language that requires translation, for example, our cloned language. After you translated everything on the storefront, there are still some variables left. Get back to the translation page. On the left language panel, select the language that requires translation and start translating the texts in the value input fields of the language variables. Save changes on every page where translate language variables. And we got some tips for you. Don't translate or remove the words in square brackets written in lowercase. These variables are automatically replaced with an appropriate value when they appear on the storefront. For example, product will be replaced with a corresponding product name. Translate the words written in square brackets in uppercase. These are the notifications generated by the upgrade sender and should be translated. And that's all you need to know about translations in CS Card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card videos.